NTV's Grill Weather is sponsored by Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Acres has what you need to get the job done. Some of the worst drought in the country remains in Nebraska and Kansas, especially in Kansas, where this week the area of no drought has shrunk from 15 to 12 percent. Abnormally dry in Kansas, 88 percent, 80 and three quarter percent moderate drought in Kansas, and the severe 69 and a tenth. Extreme drought now up to 56 and a quarter percent. And the exceptional drought in the Sunflower State, 43 and a half percent. Nebraska, on the other hand, still just that little sliver in the southeast part of the state. It's just over a third of 1 percent no drought, where abnormally dry drought conditions in Nebraska are at 99 and a half percent. Moderate drought in the Cornhusker State, 98 and a third percent, 78 and a half percent severe drought in the orange, and then the extreme drought is 29 percent. As far as exceptional drought, that hasn't changed this week in our drought monitor for Nebraska. It's in the northeast corner, and it's five and a tenth percent. So we need this moisture uh, to continue. It is in the cards. That is good news in the week ahead. And as far as temperatures, normal temperatures expected for all of Nebraska, all but the southeast corner of Kansas, where it will be above normal. Rainfall, on the other hand, normal precipitation expected for all of Nebraska and Kansas, and I always say that is good news. The three-month outlook for temperatures above normal for most of Kansas except the northeast and northwest corners, kind of a sliver there, but normal temperatures for the next three months expected in Nebraska. And good news on the moisture side of things except the southwest corner of Kansas where moisture is expected to be below normal. Otherwise, all of Nebraska, most of Kansas will see normal rainfall in the rain gauge. And there are those chances. We had the rain Friday and Saturday, and now more in the forecast this week. Of course, the ever-present wind's not going to let up. Windy tomorrow, 68. 78 then on Tuesday, chances for showers and storms in the evening during the day Wednesday as we start cooling down. Moisture chances on Thursday at 30%, Friday morning at 20% when we get cold again with lows right around 53. And of course, plenty of cold out there by tomorrow morning. Normal highs this time of year should be 63, lows 38. In the week ahead, we will average five degrees above the normal high and we'll average a couple of degrees above the normal low. So at least we have the warmth to look forward to. Our proverb this week, in spring, a tub of rain makes a spoonful of mud. In autumn, a spoonful of rain makes a tub of mud. And if you're out on the farm, you can relate to that. That is your grow weather for this week. Join us again next time when once again, it will be time to grow. <laughs>